Hi everyone, it's Dwellers, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm here on a lovely day. It's just, I've just been sitting outside, my David and I, having our morning coffee and some toast with the dogs. It's been beautiful out there and last two days have been blazing hot but it's not so hot today but it's still lovely. I just put that there for you to stare at. Um, now yesterday I did a video showing you um, my snowman's top hat Christmas ornament with the bird sitting on top and today I'm going to show you two Christmas wall hangings that I have made and this is I hope there's no glue string but I haven't really checked I'm so busy I'm painting the walls in the lounge and it's all got to be done before I return to work and I'm on annual leave but I don't want to it's got to be done by the time I've I returned to work in 11 days so I've, I'm three quarters of the way there on the undercoat not the colour so here is my Christmas wall hanging show you from the bottom right and that's my husband just bought petrol from the garage down the road okay so in this one um, this is on a canvas I bought two canvases I bought three canvases I, I meant to have the other one here to show you bought three canvases from an op shop or thrift shop charity shop um, and they were all painted in the most you know in really bright vivid colors and then splotched over with all different other colors I got them for 50 cents each so they were bigger than I would want for Christmas wall hanging but and then you know I'm quite happy at the end this one was purple and it had bright green and pink splodges all over it there's the pink there evidence of it so the splotches once I'd painted it about two coats of gesso white gesso the splotches gave it texture now you can't see a lot of it it's up here and I think hold on if I zoom in you just might see some of that texture there which is quite lovely it's always good to have texture see these little little bobbles and splodges and yeah they were the ones done in different colors I had a, oops going the wrong way as usual okay um, so that's what I used for the background then I I put on this um, uh, Christmas music and this is Hark the Herald Angels Sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing there you go that's my bit of Christmas singing for the for today um, on top of that I put this lovely um, image it's a Victorian or, or from a Victorian photograph um, this is a beautiful little girl here with her beautiful bonnet on all in a lovely fur coat she's got all her Christmas boxes stacked up there and it's on a brick wall I don't know what she's doing out there but never mind um, so I I glittered up parts of the bonnet in the pink in lovely pink glitter I didn't want to put too much colour on but I wanted to put some so there you are, she's glittered up there um, in here and here and here and here I've got these lovely pink gems which I'm not sure whether you can see them actually there they are hidden away in there there's four of those um, and then I put this piece of I put this pink frilled lace around her it's almost like an ex a bigger bonnet obviously it's not a bigger bonnet but it's like a bigger bonnet so it's lovely pale pink frilled lace then I put this um, silver bling and I think that came pretty sure that came from Irene over in Australia that's seriously scrapping on YouTube and on her online zibbit shop and, you know you should check out her online zibbit shop seriously scrapping because she has recently she had 50% off she does a lot of bargain days and she so it's always good to check out uh, okay what else here right wild orchid craft and roses and cream and kansashi flowers in dark brown to pick up the darker shades in the picture with little diamante centers and I've glittered up the um, the two roses with stickle, stickles and I think this was frosted lace it was called okay so going down here I've just put a little glitter on the boxes and a little bit of glitter there and here on the bottom so hopefully might I don't know whether the, the light is on it so I might have to move the camera over to get closer to the light there you go um, yeah so that's all hopefully you can catch that glitter I think you will and the bling and the glitter and the stickles 
Sometimes it doesn't pick it up, but hopefully it will. Okay, so that's the little girl. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I put pale pink marabou feathers on either side. They came as a gift from Caroline Withington here on YouTube. She's over in England. That was that's a long time ago. I used all the cream ones up, and then, but she'd had a packet of pink in there as well, which was absolutely gorgeous. They're hard to get here in New Zealand. Everything's hard to get here in New Zealand. Okay, so this is the top. Now on the top, I, cu I fussy cut angels. I fussy cut this big angel here and glittered her up, which hopefully you'll be able to see, her gown and her wings. That's done with, um, it's, it's got stickles on it, but it's also got glitter. And then I put angels down here, smaller ones that I fussy cut, two little angels here. Got all their wings glittered up and the, the dresses glittered up there. So because it's Hark the Herald Angels thing, so these are the Herald Angels. But they haven't got their heralding thing, their horn or blowing their thing. Okay, up here I put this lovely pink. This is all the stuff here apart from this one, apart from that, is avocado dyed. There's different shades of avocado dyeing that I've done uh, months ago. So this is this lovely... Um, embroidered um, trim and that actually came from Irene's shop seriously scrapping on zibit a long time ago as a gift it was white so that's been avocado dyed and got the pearl vintage colored pearl trim up there with the drops on it and in this little corner here I also added another marabou feather um, I put a snowflake which is lovely silver glittery I got these last year and I wish I could remember where I got them from. I wish I could remember all the others are. I've got four and I can only find one. Here it is. Um, and on this, there's this little piece of lace here which is the same, matches what, what is down at the bottom. Sorry, just a little bit out of frame. Um, there's a lovely pearlized leaf here. There's a bling and three roses, three little tiny stickled. I've stickled them with the frosted lace as well. And hopefully you can see that lovely shimmer. One can only hope. Um, and right down, oh sorry, let's just get out of here again. Okay, along this side, this here underneath is a piece of lace. Um, and that's avocado dyed. Um, this is avocado dyed as well. Now you can see the difference in the shade. It depends on how long you keep it in. Sometimes I like it very pale. Sometimes I like it medium. Sometimes I like it dark. And this is the dark one. I've got a whole big basket full of avocado dyed stuff all different shades and I love it um, so this is avocado dyed and this is a lovely trim which was stark white along here I've put these lovely silver flat back pearls and then I've put this lovely chain of bling which is the same as up here that was from Irene's shop okay down the bottom we have the same pearl droplet trim as I've got at the top, the same avocado dyed embroidered trim here from Irene's shop, Cersei scrapping on zibit, and this is another piece of avocado dyed, yet another shade, and you'll see this one picked up the darker pink just around the edges, which was lovely, because it gives like a variation. It's fun, I love avocado dyeing, I love red cabbage dyeing as well. Um, flat back pearls in ivory. So that's the first one, and that's it, and I, I really like it, it's got a little hanger at the top here, which is um, just done in, the, in an ivory coloured lace, so that's it. Down there, I didn't want to cover up all the words of the music obviously because it's Christmas music. And that's it over there. So that's my first one. Okay, my second one is also along similar lines but different. Oops, a daisy. Let's get back here with it. And there it is. Now, this one has got the song Silent Night. There's a Christmas carol. Um, and I put a fussy cut this piece out of another of of that other piece actually on the first one and that was at the top so I fussy cut that out and that says obviously says Christmas and I put silver silver stickles around that one 
Um, this little, sorry, that's my big dog, Lockie, my golden retriever in the hallway barking. Um, this little girl, another little Victorian girl in her lovely coat and with a fur trim and a, a lovely muff to keep her hands warm. She's holding a little, small little Christmas tree or a branch of a Christmas tree and she's got this lovely little hat on, this little peaked hat. Now, I used beautiful pink glitter around the brim, brim of her hat and I used a different glitter, um, a frosted glitter all around here and on the muff. Um, these I mounted, fussy cut them and mounted them, this one and the other one on the other, on the other wall hanging, on um, chipboard to give them a more sturdy appearance and to make them stand out more as like three, more of a 3D effect. Um, so down here I made up this paper flower and I, and one, two, yeah, three, it's got three tears and um, beautiful pale pink colours and I popped in a lovely... So it's like a Christmas berry, beautiful. It's off a necklace, it's a pearl, it's off a necklace. And it's just, as I say, it's just the colour of a, per of a um, Christmas berry. Beautiful, very dark, rich red. Now over in this corner here, you'll see, this was a oval shaped doily. So this is part of it, one end. It went out there and then it did the same on the other end. So I cut that in half. And I think this, I think this is out of my own stash. Um... Yes, yeah, so I cut it in half and put the flat back pearls around here just to outline that sort of serpentine shape. Here I've got the, the um, droplet pearls that I've got on the other one and I've just put them in a little circle. That's all I had left, so it just fitted perfectly. I've got a wee medallion here and a um, small medallion in a sort of a very pale shell pink colour. And there's a Wild Orchid Craft Rose, and I've stickled that all up with the frosted lace. So hopefully you'll see that. There's a bit of bling over there as well. Uh, and then I've put in these tails, which came off another piece of lace. All these little wispy tails here, and, the, and I've put some string pearls as well. Just to give it movement, and I love that. That's lovely. So that's that bit there. Around the bottom... See if we can fit that whole bottom piece in. Just about. Um, okay, around the bottom, I've uh, at the top. I suppose I go right from the bottom. I put the, um, this piece under here. Went on first. That goes down there. It's quite long. This bottom piece. Um, so that was a piece of lace, and it's avocado dyed, and I put little flat back clear beads in there. Beautiful lace that, especially when it's avocado dyed because it was plain white. Um, on top of that there's a layer here of um, this beautiful lace and I've put the same pearls to, in, to come in between these ones. That's how I arranged it. Um, you can see that I, I tore all the edges of the paper, of the music paper, before I put it on. And then there's another layer of these bottom ones. Avocado dyed but you can see they're a darker shade. And that's what I love about it. You can get all these different shades. Um, put all these ones here and put flat back pearls and an embellished one in the middle and left that plain. And up here I've got um, this avocado dyed embroidered lace that was from Irene's shop. And right on the top, I'm seriously scrapping on the zipper, right on the top here there's this little trim, avocado dyed, it was white, it's a vintage trim, came from the auntie who, an auntie who died, not an auntie of mine, an auntie of a um, nursing colleague of mine, she gave it to me, a big bag of lace, little tiny tiny pom poms, isn't that precious, so that's all that, and that makes, oh, and down this side here, where am I, down this side here, I've got um, avocado dyed, this was white, I think this came from Irene as well, I'm seriously scrapping, beautiful ribbon insert in there, and all around the edges here, there's a layer of, of avocado dyed lace underneath, very delicate lace, and then on top of it an even more delicate piece. Okay, we've got an angel up here as well. An angel overlooking this, and then because it's a silent night, it's a nice silent angel, she's very peaceful. I made a created a halo around her head 
by putting dots of um, uh, silver stickles, can't remember the name of that, and put some on her purply pink wings. Okay, so that's, oh I didn't, oh, I've got this up here at the, <laughs> I forgot about this bit. This is another piece of that doily, same doily that I've used down below, the oval doily. This is a piece out of the same edging at the bottom. Um, and then we've got these silver balls which came out of this piece. I also used it on the snowman's hat. That came out of that trim piece of bling. Two wild orchid craft flowers, uh, three, three wild orchid craft flowers in various shades. One cream, ivory and and this brownie, cinnamon brown one with darker edges. I've stickled them all up. So hopefully you'll be able to see all that. And I'll just run over, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go, hopefully get it in before before this clicks off. And there it is, she's all glittered up, that's all stickled, and there's all the beautiful edging, tail on it. Just goes on forever and ever. <laughs> it does, it gets, adds, adds, that, that ed, end bit adds on six inches, <laughs> isn't it beautiful? I love it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon with another Christmas project. Bye for now.